Hi, thanks for joining me. Uh, firstly, I just want to apologise for not uploading for a while. I just had uh, far too many distractions this week. Um, even today when I did finally decide I'd get out and do a bit of forging, I got halfway up the hill and uh, ran into these two. So I decided to just get a little bit of footage because I know some people are interested in that, even though it's a, just a daily thing for me. And they are quite uh, interesting little characters. So I seem to have scared them off in different directions here, so I thought I'll just, um, I might just take a couple of steps back so they can get reunited. So eventually he got up the nerve and decided that it was time to try and make a break for it. They're getting fairly used to me. Um, putting a little bit of structure like that between me and them um, just gives them that little bit more confidence and sometimes that can work well. So they run off over to um, over to Dad to see if he was there to offer any protection. But um, as they posture up like that, that's usually um, when they're sort of uh, willing to defend a little bit. But no, nah, sorry, chivalry is dead. It's official. So I decided to stop mucking about and actually get on with some work. Um, I was just um, putting another stump on the other side. I'm going to get rid of the other one because it's pretty falling apart. Um, I want to mount a bit of a bending fork or something in here. Um, now a couple of times I heard a bit of rustling in the bushes um, and at the first point I thought oh, it must have just been the wind um, and then I sort of had a bit of a look over and I thought it must have been these guys again. So without giving it too much more thought I um, just decided to turn the camera around the tripod um, and I had a couple of things to go and get so I thought I'll just, um, I'll just leave them to it for a little while just to see what happens. So uh, I did speed up the footage here a little bit because um, you know they don't exactly rush these guys. They just sort of slowly made their way up. And there's a little fella. He's uh, quite curious, and uh, as you'll see, a little bit of a dark patch coming up on the left hand of the screen. He's having a little bit of a sniff around the uh, camera. I would, I would assume. So it's a bit unfortunate he didn't come right up to the camera itself um, rather than come up to the back of it because that might have um, might have been good for a bit of a laugh. So I managed to sneak back down there to the side and turn the camera around. They're, they're actually right in the middle of the forge there. Um, but you can see as I was just wandering off in that direction. Um, so I've actually come over here now on the other, other side um, and I've actually got the wheelbarrow in front of me. So as I was saying, with that little bit of an obstacle in the way, they feel a bit more comfortable. So... I was able to sort of lean over a little bit and get in a bit closer than usual. So it's good that they're getting used to me and uh, you know this this little Joey here is probably going to grow up um, not being too afraid of me or anything so that, that might be uh, you know, some good future sort of things to have a look at. So back over here paying attention to what I was uh, trying to get done. I, I did hear that bit of a rustling again um, and realised there definitely was something there. Um, now I had my suspicions, but obviously this is literally right next to where I'm forging, right under my anvil. So I thought to myself, well, I do want to check out what that is because we do get quite a few snakes in this area. Oh, there he goes. And of course, as you can see, it's not actually a snake at all. So, But I thought, well, since you're going to have your YouTube debut, fella, you may as well come over here and um, we'll see what sort of... Um, sort of thumbnail sort of pictures we can get going for you. So he seemed happy enough sitting on that warm rock. And um, I didn't bug him too much more than that. Um, you know, I don't want these guys sort of uh, clearing out because they are actually quite good at keeping the snakes away. Uh, they do eat the eggs and stuff like that. So. Thanks again for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment.